Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math Freebie of the Week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week we'll practice a specific question type. Now these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need some more practice with a certain math skill that we're working on, I will point you in the right direction at the end of this video. Are you ready to find out what the focus is for this week? All right, give me a drum roll then. The focus this week is editing task. All right, let's not waste any more time. Oh, let's get to it. And let me teach ya. I gotta do it the regular way, just, just the right way to start it off. All right, let's get to it and let me teach ya. Okay, fourth grade, here's your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. When you're ready, press play and come on back to check your work. Welcome back, fourth grade. So this one says that the first term in a pattern is five. Okay, the first term in a pattern is five. The pattern follows the rule multiply by four. So here we go. We've got the first term right here of five. The next term, we would need to multiply five by the rule of times four. So five times four is what? It's 20, right? So what we would do is click this drop down menu and find 20. Okay, so again, that was five times four, which equals 20. Now the next, so 20 is the second term. We need to continue to follow that rule of multiply by four. So 20 times four is what? Yeah, it's 80. So we would click this drop down menu to show us all of our answer choices and select 80. Okay, so 80 is our third term. Multiply that third term of 80 by four to continue following that rule. 80 times four equals what? 320, click the drop down to locate your answer that you choose and 320 would go right into here. You wouldn't have to write 320 in there, it should just automatically pop in to fill in those blanks. So go ahead and pause the video to jot down any notes that you still need to. And when you're ready, let's close out this video lesson. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me of course remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, more confident with something, you've got to put in the intentional practice. You've got to throw down your best effort each and every time. I believe in you, I really mean that, and I'll see you next time world changers. Bye!